Hello people, what's up? My name is Maruka again. Welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Yeah, Enemy Within. Anyway, I haven't played this game since my last video, so... I cannot remember... at all what I'm doing over here, but... I... Ooh, god damn. Wow. We are getting Lady Grey back in four days so I guess that I can't take any any difficult missions or something like that let's let's just go to mission control then and scan for activity We're fuck much larger than anything we've previously encountered I recommend we scramble our best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship fuck <laughs> like for real dude for real already come on come on don't do that to me come on Okay, I guess that we're gonna abort the mission because it's big. That's what she said. The there we go. Leave a report. Let's scramble the other one. I think we, we have to let it go. Let it go. Enemy Turn away bad. and save the snow. Or something like that I ah oh, fuck I, I thought it's gonna hit him wow I'm, I'm bad well we're just gonna scan for activities and gonna miss the opportunity there okay assign your new research carapace armor is available that's great uh, experimental warfare lasers heavy lasers skeleton suit Huh. Let's go go for I just go for that, I guess. I don't have credits. Fudge. Yeah, sorry sorry for interrupting you, but yeah. Again. Okay, then let, let's just go. Dude, th this month is actually going to be like bad for me, I guess. Okay, this is gonna be okay. Should be fine. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Leave a report. Send the Sky Ranger. Clear the units. And make items available. So, this is what we are working for. Wi working with four, whatever. Let's have a. There's a. Hair. Uh, there's a hair in my mouth, for some reason. Okay, okay. Let let let's let's see. Loadout. Laser rifle. Body armor is normal. You are getting a grenade. Gas grenade, I guess. Now, Lady Grey, you are awesome and amazing, and your loadout is gonna be scope, of course, as always. Uh, now we need a support, which is a skinner, uh, laser rifle, and uh, medkits. Three of them, of course. We need another support. Which is gonna get a uh, med kits and ju just a regular thing. We need that heavy over here with yeah, just a grenade, I guess, and another sniper or another support. Or maybe... Oh yeah, we don't have anybody else, huh? Just a support. A support... With a freaking scope... And a freaking laser rifle, because we're gonna use her as... A a everything else... But a support. Oh man. 
this is actually going to be like bad I can already tell it's gonna be really really bad Touching down. begin the assault Our target site is near the German border. okay the downed UFO is in a remote area sure why not okay let me get a sip of my coffee mm-hmm Hostile targets at the crash site. I believe that. I oh god. Okay then. Just blue moves and one yellow move. And just overwatches all the way. Because it's it's a freaking large UFO, you know. I don't want to fuck. And they are invisible guys, in whizzy squids. I do not like that at all. So we're just gonna Overwatch. We're gonna move you up here. And just gonna overwatch, 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 overwatch. Why are you up here? Are you insane, girl? Probably is. Anyway, there we go. A lot of missing happened there. Wow! <laughs> We have another invisible squid, by the way, and that is a bad thing. So, Zuzana, there and Overwatch, up behind the tree and Overwatch. Okay, I can see that. And of course, Overwatch. You, I have a problem with you, buddy, girl. Just, just overwatch, nothing else. I'm on it, Behind the big rock and overwatch. And you can go behind this ledge and overwatch. Because if another invis squids, squids, squid come out, comes out, comes out, yeah, co comes out, you need to be ready. Okay, there's nobody here. Yet, at least. So let's just stack behind this downed tree or whatever it is. I want to push, but at the same time, it's too goddamn risky. Especially because we, we kind of encountered them, uh, the Invisi Squids, at the first turn, you know. So there, there may be, may be more of the invisible guys or whatever. Yeah, you're going up there. And you can just go here. Now when I think about it, if, if the invisible squid come over here. Oh, fuck yeah. There we go, get dusted, son. Get dusted. Okay, my throat is freaked up now. There's gonna be an encounter over here. No? For real? What? This is... This is not a cover? How? You know what? Doesn't matter at all. We may lose the melt. We, we're gonna lose the melt. That's for sure. I think. Okay, anyway, there, there, there's a thing I wanted to talk about in my Slay the Spire video that you hopefully watched today, but uh, I simply didn't have time in that video. So, 
I'm just gonna continue it over here because I'm like recording both of them in a, in a, one after another before I leave for work at 5.20 a.m. Um, no, I'm just gonna overwatch. I, I don't care about melt. I do, but you know. And the melt is gone. That's fine. Let's try to take another melt. And try to take another, like I didn't even took first one. Uh, anyway, there's one guy, one YouTuber called uh, Kugo the Mighty, and he posted like he, he's a he's a really really funny guy, you know, uh, posting a lot of let's reload with you actually. Posting videos about uh, him playing CSGO with his friends, like goofing around, you know, shit like that. And he, he's honestly amazing. He, he brought so much joy to my life. It's amazing, honestly. Like, I legitimately, literally cried sometimes while I was watching his videos. Like, I was laughing so freaking much. Yeah, we heard everything. Let's go here. So anyway, uh, lately, like since last year, last summer, he was struggling with uh, anxiety and everything else. The thing is, uh, that anxiety issue and everything else, let's post up more here, and maybe just draw a battle scanner inside? Battle scanner here won't even do anything, I think. Scanners up and running. Yeah, there's nobody there. At all. Thank you for the scanner. Um I know there's somebody here, but you know what? Let's just just reload. Move over here and reload. Okay, anyway, uh, his channel, Man, Man Lost, fine, I'm on the move. Uh, his channel blew up, literally blew freaking up, and after his channel blew up, he, he actually started with, with the anxiety and things like that, L like, uh, I'm not sure it's, it happened, like, that but okay the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude yeah that's for sure uh like where do i go yeah anyway he he started with that anxiety thing and everything else you know he he had some real issues in life with that uh but Th that's not the thing. A lot of YouTubers that I know of actually have difficult times when their channel blows up. Like, they simply can't put with all of that, you know? They, they feel like... Look, for, for me, YouTube... Okay. It was only natural to assume the aliens would have something specialized towards frontline combat. This hulking creature appears to be that unit. I don't envy anyone who is to go up against that. Well, our soldiers are, are kind of fucked up then, huh? I'm just gonna overwatch. We go there and. Do you have a shot? Overwatch. Overwatch. Do you have a shot? Oh god, they saw me. That's a bad thing. Oh! 
Oh, Lady Grey is amazing! Anyway, for me, personally, YouTube was always, always was, and always will be a miss. J just kidding, not a miss. A place where I can make a videos about anything that I like, you know? Now, when people, like, when somebody is a small YouTuber, like I am, like I'm, I'm really at only at the big, fuck you too, I'm only at the beginning kind of my YouTube career or whatever, you know, you don't have a shot at anybody, for, for real though? Let's try. Nope. Wow. God, damn it. Yeah, damn it. Nope. Maybe this. Nope. Maybe now. I don't want to destroy that pillar there there we go one is gonna be dead the other one is gonna only be injured there we go one is intimidated though the alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Uh oh Please one is panicking in returning it to the base in one piece she shot at somebody I think okay never mind can run and gun all the way here and then kill this guy like instantly pretty much that bitch is so freaking lucky he doesn't even know how lucky he is okay this is bad there we go dude girls are amazing honestly so anyway yeah I wanted to say like uh, YouTube uh, a lot of people can't cope with w w when they uh, their channel grow grows you know for some reason like uh, like first of all when you make a YouTube channel you are pretty much like not signing but uh, you know that you're gonna get some at least some okay why okay That's freaky. You know that you're gonna get at least some attention, you know. But uh, where do I go with this guy, girl? Thirty-nine and thirty-nine. Let's go for the thirty-nine, and it's a kill, dude. That girl is actually amazing. Uh, but but yeah I guess that I don't want to go through that okay. if you get like a lot of attention at one time I guess it's kind of getting a negative effect on you or something like because when when, when someone's channel actually grows or something like that they, they have a, that, not an urge, I'm not gonna say it's an urge, but they, they kinda start getting money off of YouTube, of course, and everything like that, you know? Don't, oh my god, luckily he's a garbage. Uh, she is an actual god. 
she's an actual freaking god let me see what time is it 41 okay i have time for one more mission i guess maybe i don't know anyway uh they start getting money of course and then i guess that maybe they are afraid of losing that or something and they they uh kind of i guess feel a need to push out more and more videos the, they're forcing themselves to make eight days that's cool to make a lot of content or something like that i i just just don't understand because uh for me even if i if my channel's ch channel grows even if i start getting some money off of youtube and like i have a lot of sub subs or something this is simply gonna be again a thing for me to 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 enjoy what i'm doing over here you know making contact like like first of all i have an anxiety and depression problems and everything else you know but uh i i need some more rookies i i can order one there we go uh i i have um like, like making videos is my way of just like chilling it up you know i i enjoy doing this so I, I i will i think i shouldn't have a problem with it i don't know i simply don't understand a lot of that anyway i'm not gonna play more because i don't know huh i don't know if i i i have the time to do this but dude, I, I have a problem with India, Australia, Japan, Mexico, and Egypt. Let me just say this. Yeah, I cannot do anything. Fuck. Carapace ar armors are something that I'm gonna make. Maybe just add a soldier and like have a support. Not now. Okay, never mind. the gene lab yeah this is what I wanted no I don't have melt that's the thing anyway sorry for the let, let's just uh, mission control scan for activities we have a secure transmission coming in from the council commander are you kidding me not now we, we don't have to do that now there this is what I wanted Assign your research. Foundry available. Okay. Reaper rounds. What is that? Flashbang grenade. Wow, that's new for me. Phoenix cannon? Experimental ballistic, uh, ballistics have led to this special specialized sorry, conventional weapon load. It can cause substantial extra damage to an affected target, but the additional casing elements make it less accurate at long range. The rounds will not work with pistols though. Okay, except this is old. This is old. This grenade style weapon emits a disorienting flash of light with the accompanying sound. Any enemies that can see the blast will be disoriented, suffering severe severe something like that. Penalties to aim and movement. Robotics and psionic enemies are immune. Yeah. That's honestly great. I want a mutant autopsy next because this is the most yep. physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far. Because it's gonna unlock the some good things for me. Refer to as the muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Pretty much. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a rating, either like or dislike. Gonna help me so so much. Leave a comment in the section below, subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.